Hello friends, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. For those who are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell for updates of my videos. Today I will be showing you how to do this. Let me begin by creating a new composition and I will name it main. It's 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second and I will change this one to 10 seconds duration. And then I will click OK. I will create another composition. I will name it placeholder. And then I will change it this time instead of 10 seconds duration. I will just change it to 5 seconds duration. and I will click OK. I will create again another composition and I will name it image with effect. And then five seconds duration, 30 frames per second. And I will click OK. another composition and I will name it grid comp I will make again another composition and I will name it slide one And then I will open this placeholder one and then open the assets. By the way, you can download this on the link below that I provided. I will use this kind of photo because I like this one. And then click the keyboard P to reveal the position. I will adjust it a little bit down. The other person can be seen on the canvas and then I will open image and I will go to layer new solid layer and then click OK on this layer I will uh, apply an effect on it called grid I will just use six horizontally and then four vertically I think this is good enough so what I will do is again create a duplication of this solid and then highlight this too and then click T on my keyboard to rebuild the opacity and I will change this number here 10% and the second one will be 20%
After that one, I will go to layer again, create a new solid, and I will name it circle. Click OK. And I will put it in between those two solid layers. And I will apply an effect on it called circle. So drag this corner and make sure that you will do it like this and then I want it to be inverted and then the color will be black so now you can see like this now highlight the circle again and apply an effect called motion tile I will put the output width probably 650 and then the output height will be 670 so now you can see that's here all you have to do is to make sure that this dot in here will be at the center of your corner grid I will show you like this And then on the vertical side, do it too. So now all you have to do is to recompose these three layers, highlight it, and Recompose and I will name it grid PC meaning recomposition. Move all attributes to our new composition. So now click the project and Put the placeholder one underneath the grid PC. Make the blend mode add. So now you can see the photos with grid. So now I'll put a adjustment layer in here. Put it in between those two layers the grid PC and the placeholder and then I will apply an effect on it and I will click the stopwatch on scale and then go back my playhead to zero probably I will just make it 140 if we play this one you can see that there's a little bit of animation on scale of the photos. So I will open the grid comp, go to project and drag this image with effects. And I will duplicate this one to 24 times because our grid here, the number of it is 24 six horizontally and four so i will duplicate it 24 times so i will click the control and d after duplicating this one you have to create a mask on it so in order to do that is you have to make it solo first i will you know open and I want to show the rollers and then I want to show the guides and snap to guides so what I will do I will just create this guide so that it's easy for me to create the mask on it
but you have to be sure that if possible these guides must be at the proper position like this one you have to adjust this one to make it more at the center of the grid lines that you have created so you have to highlight the layer and make it solo so that it's easier for you to make a shape like this click it again the second one and press the solo icon and make the second mask on this one Click the third one and click the solo icon again and then do the third mask but I will not uh, let you wait for so long just to do this so I will skip this video and we'll be back after I'm done with it. As you can see, we are now finished with our masking with the grids. You can see when I click on here, it will highlight the mask that we have created so all you have to do for now is just to highlight all click the use all to hide the mask toggle the switches and then click the motion blur and make it 3d space so you will see that all of them are highlighted and then i will create a camera i will click layer and new camera i will just use the 35 millimeter preset camera and i will lock it so that when I click Control A, the camera will be excluded. And then click the keyboard P to reveal the position. Go to 1 and 15 seconds. And then I will click this little stopwatch icon. Make a frame. And then I will go back to 0. And I will put figures on the Z position. Negative 1880. So all of these will be outside of the canvas or in the camera. You will see that everything is dark now. So all we have to do is highlight these keyframes and press F9 to AZ is it. So we are now done moving the keyframes on each layer randomly so we will try to play it what happens. This is now the looks of your composition with effects. So now I will go to slide and drag the image or the grid comp one onto this composition and I will press the keyboard key T to open opacity and I will just go probably 3 seconds and 
click the stopwatch to create a keyframe and then go back to zero and I will also adjust this opacity to zero and then after that I will duplicate it and I will apply an effect fast box blur and I will put it into a hundred percent and repeat edge pixels and then I will again duplicate this one control D and then delete the fast box blur apply a gradient ramp on it And I will change this one probably a purple one because I like purple. And then again duplicate this one by pressing the control D. And then probably I will delete this one, this gradient ramp, and apply a uh, drop shadow on it. Distance probably 20, and the softness probably 35. Duplicate this one direction to about 240 and then I will move each layer so that there will be a variation probably at 5 frames I'll go to 10 frames I will move this one again so this is now what it looks like on this composition I will just add a text and I will name it grid I use Bibas new font but you can choose whatever you want what kind of font that you want to use and for me I just want to use the font I'll go back and open the image with effects I also wanted to create a text here on this portion and I will probably choose a different font let's just use this one myriad make a text So now I will just click the grid and toggle it down so that I can animate it. Click the opacity, make the opacity 0%, selector 1, and then uh, probably I'm gonna go to. 2 seconds maybe 
and then click start and I will go probably 3 and 15 seconds and I will go 100 and I will go to advance randomize order I will turn it on and then I will click the grid comp one and create another shape to create a little bit of a shadow So we are done with the slide one. So what I will do is just to go to the project panel and then create a folder called comps. And then I will create another folder called scene one so all those compositions that I created I will put it on the scene one so all of them will be inside the folder scene one except the main I don't want it to put on the folder scene one because it's a main right so now I will create again another folder and I will name it scene 2 So to create a scene 2, I will just duplicate all these scene 1 composition. 1. It's done, I will just drag it down to the scene 2. Take this one down. And then I will open up the scene 2 folder. Those compositions that I wanted to change, I will open it up. Especially those are affected. So I will open it up to the visibility of to the text because I don't use it. And then I will go open up the placeholder too and delete the photo in here and I will change it to this kind of photo click P for the position and I will move it down a bit So now here, all we have to do is to change the placeholder 1 to placeholder 2.
in order to change it all you have to do is to click the alt make sure that the placeholder one is being highlighted and drag the placeholder to while holding the alt and boom it will change right away same also with this one the grid comp and the slides yeah, on the grid comp you have to change one by one So in order to change the one the same as usual, highlight both of them and then hold the Alt key while holding it drag it down the image with effects too. So it will change the photo out there. So every time you change the photo and or change the image effect here the photo will change. So all you have to do is to highlight it and click the alt button and drag it down it's gonna take a while but I want to show you guys how to do it so now we are done we will uh, go ahead and play it again and what happened First, I will save it first because it might crash. You also have to change the grid comp 1 to grid comp 2. Just drag it down and it will change right away. And one thing I will do is just to click on the project and bring the light leak here. And then I will uh, enable the time remapping, make it a bit uh, longer, and then move the keyframe. And then I think I have to move it up, and then toggle the switches. Probably I will make it soft light. So it's nice to see. I will also open the scene one slide and then I will add again this light leak. And then I will enable the time remapping and I will move then including the frame
I make the blend mode to soft light. On the slide two, I will turn off the visibility on grid so that there's no text on it. So I will open the main now and I will drag down the slide 1 and the slide 2 and then I will move my plate here probably at the 5 and let's see what we made so guys i hope you like it and uh, don't forget to subscribe like and press the notification bell so that you will be updated on all videos that we will be uploading from time to time okay and thanks for watching